to the channel y'all in this video we're gonna see what the Meguiar's dual action clean up polish here professional product we're gonna see what to do on blemishes faded blemish spots here on the clear coat of this blue pathfinder that this abrasive up to six as you can see right here and it removes light medium swirls stains and oxidation is what I want to see I'll show you guys in this area right here Actually, this whole daggone hood need paint. It's got some trash in this. So I got to sand that and go back over. You can see the white specks blow from that stuff over here. So it is what it is. But today we're going to work on this right here. And let's see what it'll do for that, man. Honestly, when you paint get like this, it's basically time to sand it down and paint it. I'll just keep it real. But we just try stuff to see how will it do. So let's hit it. I'm just, I ain't gonna kiss app to you. Stop the kiss app, y'all. When stuff get like this, when your paint get kind of oxidized out like this, it's best to just sand the junk down and paint it over. Get you some, about a quarter paint, I do a hood, put about three, four good coats on it. It's here. We just try stuff. But uh, don't always mean this stuff gonna work. Like I said, you just try. This is a professional product, professional dual action cleaner polish, basically for all we're doing here. And um, once you work it in there, all you gotta do is just buff it back off. As you can see here, it, it ain't gonna do a whole lot for stuff like this. I don't care what you use on it, you know. And I'll just tell the truth all the other people out here a cap to you, see. A cap make you think this stuff really gonna you can use a cutting pad. Oh you use a cutting pad. And I take that off. Oh you use this. Oh you use that. Now, the only real way of fixing this is get you some freaking sandpaper. Some sandpaper. Some sandpaper. Sandpaper. Sand it down. Sand it down. Sand it down. And paint it. I had to repeat it, man, because some people just don't get it. We try products like this to see what it'll do. But I ain't gonna cap to you. Stop getting like that. Sometimes you just save time and trouble by just sanding it down and painting it. I'm just keeping it real. Save less time, really. Cause it wouldn't take that long to sand that little spot down, clean it with alcohol, and paint it. Paint the whole hood. Even you had to take the hood off the truck, sand the whole hood down, and just spray it and be done with it. Let it sit out and dry. Put it back on the truck. It's a done deal. You know, because uh, spots like that ain't going to be perfect. I'm working with it, too. Putting a lot of pressure on it. Even tearing the sponge up a little. But I'm putting some pressure. Once you work products like this in, put a bunch of can buff it off. There's nothing else there. See here? It's just a cleaner polish. It removes light, medium swirls, stains, and oxidation. Combine abrasive cleaners to pure rich polish for deep gloss and shine. All right. <laughs> See, a lot of people think miracles in a baller. You know, a miracle is not in a baller, y'all. I mean, it is what it is, you know. Uh, some stuff just... <laughs> Look at it. You still can see it pretty good. Some stuff that's too far gone. You know, I ain't going to cap to you. It's probably best to just... I, it is best. I ain't going to say probably in it. It's best to just take this whole hood, get the color code off the truck, sand that whole hood down and shoot it. Yep, go to the paint place. That's why I didn't paint the whole hood. I just painted that little section in there because that color really is not matching. I may end up spraying the hood black to match the bumper. You know, I just that's probably what I end up doing. I may just spray the hood black and the top just two-tone it. How about that look, y'all? I ain't even really worry about putting it back blue. I can get some of that gloss black rust-oleum paint, sand it down, and uh, it don't look that bad, as you can see. But when I paint, I might just paint it black to kind of get an odd look to it. But it don't look bad, bad. As y'all can see, as the sun went down some, you can actually see it. It's not the worst looking hood in the world now. 
It don't look too bad, as you can see. Come on now. I ride with it like it is. It don't look that daggone bad now. No. It look better than that white patchy stuff. The whole hood was just like this. All big white patch was here. So, yeah. Ain't no miracles on a baller. I tell y'all that. It look better, though. I ain't going to cap to you. You won't be able to see it too far. As you can see, but I still can see it. But, um, yeah. It's good to have products like this in your arsenal, though. To take all amount of scratches and stuff when it need to be. But, hey. For some things, it just ain't going to work. Some stuff just too far gone. I keep it real. Hit that subscribe button, y'all. All right, stay tuned for more long videos, man. Just cleaning the yard now. All right, I'm out of here. Peace.